Top state health officials continue to keep a close eye on rising COVID-19 cases, and they're focusing concern on one specific age group. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Roly Hoyt. And I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. Cases in schools, specifically in younger students, are increasing at a rate that's worrying doctors in the state. THV 11's Mercedes McKay explains why this could be happening. It's the kids ages 5 to 11 who just got that vaccine approval and kids younger than that who can't get protected yet. That is concerning health officials and school administrators. That gives us a reason to say let's continue uh, with caution. For the first time in more than a month, the state's public schools topped 1,200 total active cases this week. Dr. Jose Romero addressing his worries in the governor's press conference on Monday, stating majority of those cases are students. That is a product of not having those children in, immunized and doing uh, relaxing the mask mandate or the mask requirements. According to ADH's school data, COVID cases jumped by 267 from November 4th to November 15th. Dr. Jennifer Dillahay with the Department of Health believes the uptick connects with mask requirements lifting in schools. We're seeing an increase in circulation in the school setting, whereas before <clears throat> we were not. It's not only health officials watching the cases increase, school administrators are doing the same. It's nerve wracking because you know you're putting the health and safety of your students and staff in jeopardy as the numbers increase. Dr. Janice Warren with PCSSD says the district's COVID cases have more than doubled in one week, specifically in their elementary schools. We anticipate that they're, the numbers are going to continue to rise until we get the majority of our students vaccinated. Dr. Warren believes optional masks and quarantine changes could play a role in this peak, but she wants to remind parents safety is the district's top priority. We're going to do everything that we can to keep your students and our staff safe. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. That administrator mentioned mask policy. Several schools continue to change theirs as we get further into the semester. For example, Jacksonville North Pulaski School District announced today masks are now optional for students and staff.